This is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is part 5 of our application class tutorial series. And in this tutorial we're going to look at target frame rate. So let's open up our old project that we're working on as well as model development with our script. Now the target frame rate can be used to set uh, a consistent frame rate. So most games while you're playing along will drastically change in frame rate. So you could be in one area of your map and you could be hitting 300 frames a second. Then you go to the, another area and all of a sudden you're down to you know, 45 frames a second. The target frame rate allows you to set a cap where your game will run a little more consistently at a certain frame rate. Now this doesn't guarantee that you're going to achieve that frame rate. So if the hardware you're running on, if you set it to 30 frames a second and the hardware you're running on isn't capable of running at 30 frames a second, then you're not going to achieve 30 frames a second. So let's take a look how this works. So we'll go application dot target frame rate equals and it takes an integer so we'll say 30 frames a second. Now by default it's negative one and what that will do is on a standalone version make your game run as fast as possible and in web players you get about 50 to 60 frames a second. Now let's go down here and also output our frame rate well, at least our target frame rate. Uh, we're going to want to move this down another 30. So put that at 70. We don't want the Unity version more. We just want target frame rate. And here, we'll get rid of this. And just do target frame rate. Uh, actually, that returns an integer. So we're going to want to type cast that to a string. And let's run it and take a look. There we go. So maybe you don't want to run at 30 frames a second, you want it to run at 60. And there we go. And to prove that the default is negative 1, we'll just comment this line out, run it again. Uh, apparently, it stores the last value. Oh, that's interesting. It should have said negative 1. Let's just double check just to make sure. Let's say 30. When we run it, we get 30. Let's comment it out. Get 30. And it is commented. Let me just put, take a quick look under the project settings. Uh, won't be under player, maybe quality. No, there's nothing here for frame rate. Apparently, it's setting up, oh, no shadow distance. Apparently, it's setting it somewhere and it's storing it. So, with the comments out, let's just quit the application and reopen it again. And we'll hit run target frame rate negative one so it stores it just for the session let's build this up to a web player just to take a look frame rate negative one okay so we'll go up here put it back to 30 build and run again replace our old one and there you go so just remember this is useful if you uh, want to have a more consistent frame rate throughout all of your game. But you won't necessarily achieve that if the hardware can't sustain it. I'll see you in the next tutorial.